Morning, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Still loving the Jag, not loving the locking nuts. Now, if you watched my other video about the Jag, you'd notice that I had a problem with these. I went to, well, a rubbish garage basically, and used the old rattle guns. Well, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to use a torque wrench. Now, now, what's the problem with these wheel nuts? That is what they're supposed to look like. Big floor. They snap from this part here. And what you end up with is just half this part comes off of it. Now there's a couple of ways of trying to get it off. The first idea I had was a bigger socket. Push it in, try and get grip of it, and then get it out that way. That doesn't work very well. So you think you'll buy yourself a nice little set like this. These are supposed to be impact, really strong, and these are for wheel nut removals. When they snap, brilliant. Not so good. Because as you can see, they're made out of tin foil. Because they just snapped. Pretty rubbish, eh? That's an old saying you get what you pay for. So my only other option was, well, besides going to a garage and being hundreds of pounds, which I don't like doing, drill time. Cheap little drill, start small and work your way up. And that's what I did. And believe you me, that took some time. This is what I ended up with. And then, I was lucky enough to get 20 mil, pop it on top, and I managed to undo it. That was really lucky. So, <laughs> I'm gonna back one to be okay, because they're original torque. Now I'm gonna change the whole lot. I've got these ones for the time being, and I've ordered a new set of ones that will fit on and not snap. But, I have more to do. I'm going to try this one. It's the locking that one, and hopefully didn't put that on too tight. And I've got to get these off. Now, I did this yesterday. I just didn't want to do it. But I've got to. If I get a blowout, a puncher, I don't want this hassle at the side of the road because you're just never going to do it, are you? And it'd be a tow truck and more hundreds of pounds. And I'm not going to even garage hundreds of pounds to do it either. I will do it my bloody self. Now, I didn't really that much damage the alloy. Um, I managed quite lucky, really. A few little scrapes here and there. But as you know from the previous video, the person who drove this car was not very caring about the alloys and scrunched up the curbs. That's what you get for living in Islington in London. So uh, I tend to keep far away from the curbs. And although these tyres are good and will probably last me a good year, I still worry. So, <laughs> the part I'm not looking forward to, getting them off. So, stay with me. Let's see. Big bar. Okay, there's a godsend. The locking up comes off really easy. Now for the ones that don't come off so easy. I don't want to do this. I did think about um, heating them up, but I just damaged the alloy even more, using the old um, heat gun on them. But I realised that how deep they are, I don't think it would do anything anyway. Oh well, here goes nothing. Now I have used the maintenance spray on these already, but again, I don't think it will get in there. giving them all a little bit of a turn. You can hear they all go a little bit, can't you? Nah, the last time I heard that cracking noise, that happened. I'm just so tentative to do it now. Oh well, in for a penny they say, didn't they? Let's get more of this. trying anything to free up the rust. That's what happens, just rust on. I 
they're just not moving, are they? Right, too scared to do this on camera. I'm gonna have to give it some and hopefully they'll move off. So, where are we? Yeah. I got the locking knot off okay this side. The other side, I managed to get four out. That one's jammed in. And it's only temporary until I get my new ones. But this side, two out of them two. And you know what happened, didn't you? Snap. And now I've got to drill it all out like I did the other one. Okay, it really isn't pretty. Drill. Start off with a small piece. And you just work your way up and up and up, basically. Until you get to the big one. And then this one I showed you. Keep drilling around. Then what I'm going to do... Let's get a bigger 24mm socket and try and shape it so it goes on. So I'm going to whack that on with a hammer when I get some more angles at it. And hopefully it will slot in like this one did. I'll be able to get it out without causing too much damage. I said it isn't pretty though. Now that one I think I went a bit too deep on, but this one I'm going to go a bit more shallower. I'm going to do that corner there. Where am I now? Really fucked off if I'm honest with you. I think I was lucky with the other one. That I just managed to get some shape to it and get the socket on top. This one has absolutely just gone to bollocks. There's no word for it. So what am I doing now? I'm going to drill smaller pilot holes around what's left. Bigger holes until it's all gone. They're going to do exactly the same to them two. And then check the carp, take the whole bloody wheel off and it'll be the inner part of it, which will be this part that's hanging on for dear life. I'll then get some mole grips and get them off, and then job done. What a bugger. I knew it was gonna be hard, but not this much of a bitch. Uh, Jag, you really muffed up there. Anyway, I wanna get on with it, and um, that'll do me for this uh, video. I have a cup of tea, I'm missing a cup of tea, that's what it is. And just shows it doesn't always go to plan. This one I've not gone so deep drilling in, so I've not damaged the alloy at all. But as I said, the alloy was damaged anyway. And uh, if I had knackered it, I'd just replace the damn thing. But it needs to be done. I haven't got a flat, I haven't got a puncher, but you just can't trust it. Because you know what it'd be, it'd be wet, raining, I'll be in a pair of shorts or something, and I'll get a blowout and I'll be stuck there. Um, so yeah, I've got to drill right way through all of them, take the wheel off and then get them off that way and put the new nuts on. Well, I wondered where this old fart has been. Out here all day. I thought he'd left the country. Here's my little pile of shavings. The most fun I had is the fact that it's magnetic. Right, four done. I mean, come on, look at these. That was the worst one. I had to completely just, oh. That was the best one. I mean, this is absolutely hell. I'm having to drill small holes and make them bigger and bigger. And then I'm having to get bigger sockets over the top. I had these ones I found. That one got this, this one off, which was lucky. But after the other kit, I'm surprised what I've got in my um, shed sometimes. Don't tell the wife. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I did say I'd end it, but I've had enough now, I've been here all morning, this must be, I don't know what time it is now, I've been here for four hours or something stupid, and got three off in four hours, that's just rubbish. Had enough. Anyway, my advice would be, do not go to a dodgy little backstreet garage to get your wheels changed. Go and get them somewhere professionally done, and don't use a ratchet gun, otherwise you spend hours doing it, or paying, I mean, if this is per hour at 60 quid, we're talking for it three, four hundred pound already, aren't we? I don't know. Anyway, one more this side, one more the other side. And that's it, I ain't gonna show you no more. Lots of videos to watch. Couple of Jag, nicer ones. And uh, how to do leather seats. And a couple of car ones on there as well. Please like, share, subscribe. It's lovely in the sun. Do you know what? Time to go on a motorbike, I think. If I'm so lucky. <laughs>